So I'm in full bloom, fall, and Halloween mode. And I decided to um, do a peekaboo storyboard. Um, the inside of this is maroon. It's just spray painted and then epoxied. And then I put the leaves on and then taped off the top and the bottom. And next I'm gonna do a wood grain and then I'm gonna take the leaves off. This one is going to be the same deal. Not quite sure why it's so cloudy up at the top there, um, but that's not really gonna matter because you're not gonna be able to see it. Pretty much wherever the decal is, is where you are going to be able to see the floaties in there. Oh, one more thing to watch for when you're uh, doing storyboards is, look at that. Hmm, nice dead bug in there. It's cool, it's probably stuck and nobody's gonna be able to see it because I'm about to spray paint it. Um, and then maybe, maybe some of the ghosts and pumpkins that I put in are going to disrupt it but um yeah one more thing to look for with storyboards um and yeah it's really really ugly at the top that's part of the reason why i'm like oh let's let's peekaboo this so i once again i did the decals and um taped off the top and taped off the bottom it's totally up to you if you want to cover the stainless steel rims but i figure i'll give it a go and tape it off and see how it goes bye buddy really really heavy with my weight and it's uh i'm just gonna set it on the turner to dry I'm not turning it on but just setting it there so it dries level um the next thing i'm going to do is i will take the decals off carefully because otherwise you might like poke and scratch your paint job and then um i'm going to mix glow into my epoxy so that it glows in the dark okay so to wood grain this all i'm going to do and i need to adjust my light here a sec um all i'm going to do is use these little inks here i'm using caramel and latte today and like i said there's a maroon base so i don't want to um, make it too red. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to go for it. Um, I use my nifty little holder here. Sorry, I'm knocking down everything because my area is always a disaster. Um, using one of my Dollar Tree makeup brushes. It's like wet and wild. And <laughs> all I do is I just take the lids off of both of them because you kind of use them as you go. Um, I take my brush and I add the ink to my brush. I'm starting light with the latte. I do like couple strips in there then maybe I'll throw a caramel strip too and then we just go for it create that nice green these brushes are amazing for creating the knot look that's what we're looking at right now gonna add some more caramel add some more latte and then just lightly here I'll move my finger so you can see what I'm doing and you just lightly drag it down until your white's covered. And then you can start adding in your magic brush strokes. Dollar Tree brushes are amazing for these little wood grain looks. And we're going to keep moving. I like to work really quick on these. Sometimes I uh, tend to race like the kids' dinner while it's cooking. I'm like, ooh, wonder how fast I can get this done. So I just go through. I like to make it kind of all uniform and coated and then I'll go back over and do some more of the wood grain line type things. So we got about halfway done and it's, it, it looks like crap right in here but I'll fix it. No worries. I just want to make sure I'm using latte more so than the caramel because of wanting it to be lighter. I'm doing this right-handed. I'm totally left-handed. I don't know why I choose to be difficult today but apparently this is just what I'm doing. So we're going to paint this one with my right hand. Getting a little bit of caramel. I never clean this brush out either. It just always sits there like this upright. Um, I do have smaller ones from Dollar Tree, but I found that this one just gets the job done quicker and that's all I needed it for, so. I did spray it with a uh, flat white Rust-Oleum and so it seems to be working out okay for me right now. Sometimes people say things about it changing colors and stuff, but so far I haven't. I'm sorry, let me knock on some wood. Yep, so far I've been all right. Now that I just said that, this thing's gonna probably fight me. Okay, now we're gonna go left handed. Good job, John. I don't know what's wrong with me some days. <sighs> so, pretty much you have all this. Um, so, then the next step, once you're done with the latte and caramel or whatever colors you choose to use um you are obviously going to remove your tape remove your leaves um i wait and then um do a clear coat 
after I take my peekaboo stuff off usually. And then, um, like I said, remove your tape at the bottom and tape at the top. You're going to remove your bottom because it's not sealed on. Well, no, your top should be sealed on right now. And um, then you just fill it with whatever you want to fill it with. I use the one-to-one -one ratio for uh, glycerin and water just because that one has made the glitter move better for me. Um, I have tried baby oil in the past. I ended up switching over just because I needed to, like, dye my inside stuff, like the fluid. They wanted it to be red. It was a walking dead cup. So I kind of did the glycerin switch there and haven't gone back because I like how the glitter flows better with that stuff. So it's like really muddy right here. It's kind of hard for you to see because of the glare of my light, but I kind of needed to be able to see what I was doing. Um, so I'm just going to go back through those little areas that I don't like and create some type of like brush stroke, wood grainy type -ness. I'm just hoping like I don't end up with a really awesome wood grain looking thing and it's right in the middle of a leaf that's going to get ripped off anyhow, but oh well. This is the first time I'm doing one of these, by the way, so we shall see how it turns out. But if you want to get the, the wood marks, you just kind of drag it repeatedly. The wetter it is, well, you don't want it really wet because then it'll not leave any brush strokes, but you want it to like have a little something to work with so that you get some lines going. Um, and I guess at this point, if you're liking it, which I don't, I'm going to stop the video and fix it and then come back. Um, but if you like it, then I'd say you're good to go to start trying to peel your leaves off and stuff. But like I said, let me take a break, walk away from it and come back and fix it. Okay, so I went over it a little bit more. I like it a little better now. And um, I was thinking about it. I totally could have filled the inside already, but um, I just wanted to do this separate, I guess. I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and peel our tape. I did um, clear it already, too, because I wanted to do it while I had all the tape and stuff still on. So let's go on and peel all that. So that's what it's looking like. And I need to find my picker and hopefully not like jack up the whole design. And yeah, my alcohol ink is probably still a little wet. I have no patience. So all you do is get it started. And that looks freaking neat. So pretty much once I get the water and the glitter in there, you're going to see leaves floating around in there. I'm pretty excited about that. All right, I'm going to pick the rest now. Okay, so this is what it looks like now, and all you do to get it ready to fill it is take off the bottom, and then you're going to add, I do my water and glycerin first, and then like halfway I add the glitter stuff. I'm going to go extremely heavy on the glitter though this time, because I want it to be able to be seen when it's upright, even if the water level doesn't quite get there, it should be fine though, but I'll show you the what I'm going to do with that then. I have more than that, but I'm only going to do three right now. That's all I got tape ink for before I have to put my other kiddos in school. So, what I do is I start out with my glittery little medicine cup and three millimeters. And this is the glycerin that you can find at Walmart in the bamboo aisle. And I scrape it out. Thirty of the water. Oh, you only have to spill. Maybe a little splatter. So 
right now. No problem. Not sure why the glycerin and supposedly the one of the things it doesn't affect epoxy. Not sure. Maybe there's a scientific component. Oh, it's clear now. So I'm going to actually do this one. It is, I just put the DNA test on top. I'm going to cut that lip. So it goes 50 milliliters of liquid going into a 16 ounce storyboard. And it filled it up almost. So at this point, I am going to add my glitter in with the kitty. We'll do the sweet black kitty. Let's see if I can zoom in from here. There's another one. Can't find my one. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the kitty. So I am going to, they're kind of thick. I really like them. The goats are really thick too. I'm going to try and untangle their tails so that they'll go individually in here. And hopefully it'll look really cool. Just because it's Sanders and Sisters. And they have black cat fangs. You can't really see, but um. Oh, hold on. I'm trying not to show my face. Because the camera stands all over there. <laughs> Sometimes my face does things that my mouth does not. I don't know how many cats I can fit in here. We'll just hang. And then, and now, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe like 15 and 15. Let's add 15. So mix this up again. Now I want to try and get my cats down in there so that they can float around. Hmm, I'm trying to think more of Bubba to throw the food. Although I'm afraid if I get their little tails locked together, I'm gonna become a big blob in there. We'll see. I wonder if I can put any like thinking down there. Right down on the little monkey. <clears throat> Maybe that's the same one. I didn't even check if it was holding water okay. I tried a new uh, sealant, but you have to wait 24 hours for it to cure, which I normally don't have that patience, but this was it. My hubby picked up for me. I'm like, oh, look at her go. Because it says that it bonds in seconds and it um, is waterproof, so look at that. Give it a go. Um, I need just a little bit more. I could have done 20. 20 and 20, but I didn't. Because I think that was our end. So, 80 milliliters. Oh, I should dump that in the bowl next time. Sometimes I dump it in the grocery cup if it's too much to throw in the medicine cart thing. And it's getting clear. So it's ready to go. Dump it in. And I think I'm just going to put the bottom on and see how it goes. Bottom, not sure if my lashes can bind to the bottom. Hang on. I'm doing two different ones, that's why I knew that wasn't right exactly. So, I have kitties floating around with the Sanders and Sisters. Not a whole lot, so I'm going to try to just try and get more in. But for now, really cute. Just trying to see like how many more are in there. Yeah, it's holding the lid pretty good. I'll see. Try to get some more edge if it's a really big bind. Clear grip. I don't know. I gave it a shot and I'm gonna start barking. See what's there. The only thing is, is it does make it cloudy a little bit. 